shut down, burn out. My advice to any Aspie is if you feel like you're pushing it, you have to take a break. Because if you don't take a break, your brain might switch off. Hi, it's Midnight Mule. And today I thought I'd talk a little bit about autistic burnout. The reason for that is early this year, I had several months where I was more or less knocked out because of autistic burnout. So I think I'll say what it isn't and then I'll say what it is. There are three things that are quite common to affect Aspies that may sound similar if you're unfamiliar with the terms. There's meltdown, there's shutdown, and then there's burnout. And my understanding of these terms may be slightly different to yours or the official ones, that's fine, but this is the definitions that work fine with me. So autistic meltdowns, or meltdowns, I don't think I've ever had those, but my understanding is it's like a physical manifestation. So for those who don't understand Asperger's, if you saw somebody having a meltdown, you could think they're just having a paddy and they're very badly behaved with physical manifestations and stuff. It's not a paddy, it's completely different, but it can look like that. Shutdown, which I do get, is where I kind of, um, you kind of switch off. So I can try and avoid shutdowns. If I'm in a situation and there's like a sensory overload or things are getting too much, I tend to leave the situation and I walk away. And if for whatever reason I can't leave the situation, it's like my brain and my senses just switch off and it's like I'm physically there, but I'm kind of not there. It's almost like maybe going to a happy place in my head, which might actually end up being a bit blank, but it's like, it's like my body just tries to switch off the senses as much as possible. And I try to not exist until the situation's over and then I can get out of there. Autistic burnout is different. <laughs> um, it's like the brain completely shuts down. And whereas, um, oh, I think I'm using the wrong terms all over the place because I'm still not right. Let me think about this. Burnout, shutdown. Okay, so shutdown is where you, it's like a temporary thing, might last an hour or two. Burnout, yeah, autistic burnout is like your brain shuts off and your higher functioning goes and it's really weird. So for me, what it was like was I couldn't do basic things that I normally do a lot, I would really struggle with. So for example, basic things, we've had the same television for maybe nine years now and I use it most mornings, I have some breakfast, put something on. I pick out the remote control and I don't actually know what I'm doing. I don't know which buttons I'm supposed to press. I go on blank. There's a coffee machine, very basic. It's got three buttons. My brother gave it to me because he got a new one several years ago. Power button in the middle. The left hand button gives you half a cup. The right hand button gives you full cup. And I'd used it for years and I couldn't remember what buttons to press. I'd try and make a coffee and I'd be pressing all sorts of combinations. Uh, in the mornings, I'd often have toast with butter and jam. I could put the bread in the toaster and then I just wouldn't know what I'm doing. And I, I couldn't even make jam on toast. Um, it, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's like you exist and you seem to look at perfectly normal. And I, mean, I can still walk about and do things, but I'm like completely vacant so with work I do a lot of work with say computers and data and information I could look at the screen and I could see the words and I could probably read the words but they had no meaning and I I couldn't even do the simplest of tasks so I actually got signed off work for like three months fortunately they kept me on uh, which is very nice but I, I was just completely useless. And I gradually went back to work like 14 hours a week for a month or so. And then I'm back full time now. The only thing I'm aware of that I'm still affected by this burnout is I know I say the wrong word and the family see this as well. Oh, there's another thing. Up. So I often say the wrong word. So in this video, it's quite possible I've said the wrong words in different places, but I don't necessarily realize I've said the wrong word. Another thing is my short term memories Often it's not great, but since the burnout, it's completely shot. So I could, 
somebody could ask me to do something, I think, oh, I need to do so and so, I stand up to do it and I've instantly forgot what it was I was doing. And I won't even remember I was supposed to do something. So it's not like, ah, oh, what was I doing? What was I doing? It's like completely gone. Never knew I was doing it. So I do need people to remind me things. I have to keep making notes what I'm supposed to be doing. But my, the function, I know to use remote control now. I can get the coffee right and jam and toast most days. The um, calculating things and working things out, I'm pretty much okay with now. I, I can pattern match very good, which I've always been able to do. So that's nice. When I was at the, uh, the height of the um, the burnout, or the maybe not height, maybe the depth of the burnout. <laughs> Sorry if this video chops and changes all over the place. I'm going to have to edit it because I've got so much erming and ahhing going on, and I lose my train of thought. So I'm I'm able to work, and I'm well worth my money as far as work's concerned. In my opinion, I am, even though I'm not quite right at the moment. I know I'm using the wrong words and emails. I use the wrong words sometimes, even when I reread it. The emails are still wrong. Short-term memory gone. But I definitely feel I'm on the road to recovery. The reason I've not done videos recently is I wanted to do a big video. Not a big video. It would take me a long time to put it together about burnout. Because I read up a lot about it. I learned a lot about it. But I've not got around to doing it. It's actually quite a big ask. So I may still do a video about burnouts generally. And what we can do about it. How we can try and maybe avoid them. But it had become a, a block to me doing any videos at all. So I thought I'd do this video. I just ramble on for a little bit. And then I can still do a few other videos after this if I feel so inclined. And I will try and do a burnout one properly at some point. Was there anything else I was going to say? Mm, I think there probably was. But I've forgotten what it is now. So never mind. So hopefully that was a <laughs> quick video. Oh yeah. So burnout. How did it avoid it i i was aware i was gradually going downhill for probably a definitely weeks possibly a few months i could tell i was pushing myself and doing too much and i should have just walked away from the computer if that's what i was doing and taken a break and stopped using my brain but something i think it may be an autistic thing also a guy thing but i really pushed myself if i was doing a physical activity I would push myself and push myself till I physically couldn't do it. And the same with intellectual stuff. I can absolutely push myself. But what happened, the brain reached a point where it's like, right, you're not doing this anymore. And it just switched off. And it's like, um, I don't know if, if you've ever had your back go into spasm, but sometimes my back goes into spasm. And what it is, is the muscles around your spine just seize up and you can't move your back. And if you try and move it, it really, really hurts. But it's your muscles seizing up to protect your spine because there's some potential damage there. So with the what it seemed to me for the autistic shutdown, was it burnout? See, I'm still using the wrong word. It's burnout. For the autistic burnout, is my brain just pulled the plug on the higher functioning and big parts of my brain just switched off. And it was like to protect my brain from me. That's what it seemed like. So I couldn't access things in my head I couldn't think things I couldn't do anything I could mindlessly watch a, a film that I liked perhaps or I could do basic things I, I wouldn't even we live by a main road I wouldn't even trust myself to go out for a walk because I wouldn't trust myself not to go out in the road so I'd walk with my wife or someone else one of the kids but I wouldn't go out on my own because I I could just see it was way too dangerous um Okay, I, I will try and do a useful burnout video. This is me rambling. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I am getting better. This week I've been very bad with sleep. I don't know why, but I've been really struggling with sleep. Um, okay, <laughs> I hope you all have a nice day. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, well done. If you think you're going to... My advice to any Aspies, if you feel like you're pushing it, you have to take a break. Because if you don't take a break and you're brain struggling your brain might switch off and then you're forced to take a break for several months so it's not worth it it's better to take a break when your body or brain says take a break just take a break even if you have to cancel plans if you have to maybe let some people down it is not what is absolutely not worth it and I'm still guilty now of pushing myself a bit when I know I shouldn't but I I am trying to get better all right thanks bye